Hi everybody, Katrina here. I'm with Tyler and we are over at Splitsville at Downtown Disney and we are checking it out because they just finally opened up the first and the second floor. So we're gonna check it out, bowl a few, eat some food and see how it's going. Let's do it, woo! the second floor we are doing some bowling look at this amazing space they've given us and it's kind of cool too that uh, with nobody else here right now we get this kind of well we're not going to take it all up obviously don't want to be rude but this is a lot of space um, and it's really nice just being able to hang out and uh, spend it we haven't even um, started the bowling yet so we've got a lot of time Katrina just got her shoes on she says they're very big she got what she thought she got seven she got what she thought they're very wide would be they're very wide they're very wide shoes so I think at least they're velcro so that's nice so yeah here we go. let's bowl I'm ready bowl so guys you see here they've had this little computer and basically when you're ready to bowl you press okay and then uh, you see the little bowl now here and then you get a five minute grace period and then it starts counting down the time so we're just kind of waiting, we're kind of doing our, our thing here, waiting to order our food, getting ready before we press OK. How do those feel? They're good. Very heavy. Uh, Comfy-ish, I guess. I don't know, I don't bowl that much, so I really honestly don't know. Um, you don't bowl much. No, at least they're newer, so it's not grossing me out. It's kind of cool to have these bowling balls with different characters on them. Here you can see Mickey. Here you can see Minnie. And they even have like the sizes and stuff to make it super simple, extra small. I'm gonna go with this yellow one, okay, extra large. Roll in, rock out. So I'm gonna try the fig and berry drink. It has fresh strawberries muddled with uh, tequila, fig jam, agave, and lime juice. So uh, I'm assuming it's gonna be very seedy, so I hope they kind of strain it a little bit. We'll see. And I'm getting the old fashioned elder. What's that one have? Uh, let's see. Uh, pitchers bourbon, St. Germain elderflower liqueur, and simple syrup, and a dash of bitters. Cool. All right, we'll see how it is. Here's a really quick overview of the menu. It's pretty extensive. You got salads and sushis and pizzas and burgers, basically. That's the main thing. You got the kids' menu and the desserts over here. Not a huge dessert menu. I feel like this menu is also a little bit expensive, but we'll just starting. wait to see. So we've been waiting for a while, and all of a sudden it just started on its own, so I guess we don't have infinite time to wait. There you go, we're ready to bowl. One of the cool things about this menu too is it just has the little gluten-free indication built into it, you can see up here. But uh, we kind of asked about the menu because they have all these uh, pizzas here, right? 
Um, but there's no indication that they're gluten-free, but we did ask if they had any gluten-free pizza crust, and they said they did. And they also said they have uh, gluten-free uh, hamburger buns, even though there's nothing on the burger. So that's pretty cool to know. So uh, we're gonna change what we just said. Uh, they actually do not have gluten-free pizza crust. Uh, they, they have it in Florida, but not here yet. Okay, so I got the fig and berries. Uh, let's, let's take a little look see. Looks very pulpy. Oh, good heavens, okay. Oh, is it really pulpy? It's not bad. Um, tastes like fig and strawberries. Um, actually, it's not that bad. It's actually really refreshing. Um, I'm kind of thirsty right now, so this actually tastes really delicious, and I probably can drink the whole thing in one bowl. But um, it's not bad, but if you look, um, you can see some figs in there. I don't know if you can see that down below. Uh, um, and then some strawberries, but there's gonna be a lot of seeds in here. Yeah, that's a lot. Yeah, so, and then you can see them floating on top, or on the side, if you look over on the side. You can see them kind of floating on there, so, um, it doesn't look appetizing, but it tastes good. <laughs> Let me try my drink. I'm trying my old fashioned. I am like on this old fashioned kick all of a sudden. So. Pretty good, nice and strong. But then it has this hint of the elderflower at the end, actually. I like that, you know, it's not bad. Um, I've never seen a cherry that looks like that before. I'm not exactly sure what kind of cherry that is, but. I could totally see ordering um, another one of these another day, definitely. This is great. I like it. We found this funny little sign next to our lane, too. Please consider the age of those around you. Your victory dance may be inappropriate for children and pregnant women to witness. They even have this cool uh, little uh, liner upper here for the for the youngins. There you go, Katrina. Test it out. Yeah, test it out. Get a good shot in. There you go. Line it up. Line it up. Here we go. This thing doesn't seem very useful. That's not good. <laughs> Get this out of my way, Tyler. I don't want <laughs> Alright guys. We're only like four frames in, but the food is all showed up. These are the uh, loaded fries. There's a uh, ranch, bacon, queso. I'm really excited about these. Um, here we go. And he uses the fork and a knife. Why wouldn't I? <laughs> Yep, that's really good. I have to say that's incredibly good. The fries are nice and crispy. The bacon is like a good quality. It's like nice and smoky. There's a lot of it. The cheese is good. Nice and salty, not overly salted. Like sometimes you get like fries that are just covered in salt. These are nice. One more bite. And the cool thing is it's crinkle cut and that always reminds me of the bowling alley when I was a kid. Oh yeah? Every time I would always go bowling, I would always get crinkle cut fries. So this kind of brings cool. me back home. So, I also got the volcano roll. There's uh, crab meat on top. Uh, there's tempura, um, tempura shrimp. Uh, there is avocado. Might as well just look. There's tempura shrimp, avocado, cream cheese, and spicy volcano crab mix. Yeah, it's really good. I mean, you can't go wrong with like fried shrimp and cream cheese, right? And I put a bunch of wasabi in here already, so. Um, it has kind of a California roll taste, but then very spicy. Uh, but they do call it a volcano roll, so. They do have a lot of crab on there. There's a lot of sauce here, and this crab is also spicy. It's actually very spicy, but, and it's not just the wasabi talking. I can, I can taste some real spice here, which I really appreciate. Uh, the things that I've tried so far have been awesome. I'm really into this. All right, 
So you got a bacon cheeseburger, right? I did. I got a bacon cheeseburger. First it came um, out um, on a lettuce wrap. And it came out wrong. They put it on a lettuce wrap and it kind of seems like, because they're obviously brand new, so half knows what's going on, the other half doesn't know what's going on. But, you know, you can't really blame them. Um, anyway, so they brought it out with a lettuce wrap and then um, they took it back and then slapped a bun on there. Um, so we're going to dig in there. Taking all the stuff off. <clears throat> I'm kind of into that. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, I can already tell it's not going to be um, a joyful experience because the bread's really cold, so it's going to be kind of um, fall party. Uh, I don't know if that's a word. I'm going to create a new word. Hashtag fall party. Um, I like it. <laughs> Uh, anyway, so it's not really medium, but... No, that is not medium. That is definitely not medium, but uh, let's try. Did you ask for medium? It comes automatically. I think it says medium well on the menu, does it not? I don't know. Um, anyway, it tastes like a normal burger. Um, bacon, uh, regular... Just uh, American cheese on there, lettuce. Um, they don't put any sauce on here, which is kind of funky. That is um, good. So I got a side of ranch, so I'll probably put some ranch on there or something um, that came with my salad, so I can't have the fries. So it's a pretty decent, healthy salad there. Yeah, the salad looks um, nice. It's pretty big, um, you know. But this is this is decent, but honestly, it's not worth like twenty one dollars. Um, yeah. That's a $21 burger. So this is a $21 burger. Um, I don't know if there's an upcharge for gluten-free buns, so we'll see. But um, but $21 for that burger. I mean, the salad is nice, but that but this is better not be a, a nice salad for $21. This, yeah, this better be like a hot, piping hot burger. Um, unfortunately, it was kind of cold because they took it back, but it's not bad. Yes, right down the middle. Sort of. I did it. <laughs> <laughs> Yay. <Maybe. laughs> Did you know that Hershey's Kisses are called that because that machine that makes them looks like it's kissing the conveyor belt. Amazing! Alright Katrina, here we go, last frame. I, get out my back <laughs> I think you can pull it together if you get three strikes. I already got four! Zeros. <laughs> yeah, you don't have any strikes. What do you mean? <laughs> I'm thinking of baseball. Baseball? <laughs> you strike zero. Wrong sport. <laughs> Just throw the ball. <laughs> there you go. Hey, pretty good. Get a spare and you get to go again. He's good. This he guy over good. here. Yeah, he's he really is good. good. That guy's a pro. He brought his own ball. Look at this! Ooh. Look at this! Ooh. Oh! Yay, finally! Spare. That means you get to go again. <laughs> no, it doesn't. Yeah, does it? you're on the 10th frame. You get to go again. Oh, great shot. Yeah. Hey, yeah, look. It. You're, it's your turn again. Oh. Yeah, because you got a spare on the last frame. Okay. It's your turn. I don't know rules. Yeah, you don't know rules. It's okay. <laughs> All of a sudden, she's a pro. No. Oh, if you would have gotten another strike, you would have thrown another ball. Gosh darn it. Wow. That was good. Look at that. You caught up real good. All right. So that's the end of the game. 76 to 54. We're going to try and quickly play one more. 42 minutes left. we got two hours. Game two, game two's over. Oh, and the scores are gone already. No, no. Wait, did you press the button? Yeah. Oh, oh I'm just trying to show the folks at home. I had a really bad score, so there's really nothing. <laughs> 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 well, we just went and finished up in Splitsville. What did you think about the food? You know what? I really liked everything. I thought everything was really good, actually, except it was just very expensive. And especially when you're considering the fact that you're paying like we did two people for an hour, and that was like $38 without our um, annual pass um, discount. And that was, you know, 
on top of the food we had, which your burger was $21, the fries was $20, or $15 actually, the, the, sushi, was the sushi was $20, um, and the drinks were pretty expensive too, so, yeah. you know, all in all, we spent like $200 for two hours of bowling, um, but we had a really good time, right? I thought it was really fun. I mean, they were super nice. Um, I think we had like three managers come up to us and check to see how we're doing. Our server was fantastic. He was always um, just watching the table, making sure we needed refills on our water, making sure that we um, our food was great. Um, my bowling needs a lot of practice, but I had I had a lot of fun. It was it was a good atmosphere, um, and even now um, we're leaving now, and it's around like what five or six o'clock. So um, yeah, five thirty. have a band. Yeah, they've got us. a band going on um, back there, I which think is that's pretty cool. Fantastic! A lot of people are enjoying the outside patio. Yeah. I think this is a really great atmosphere, and I'm glad it's like a brand new addition to yeah. downtown Disney. You know, and we yeah, we were talking about it while we were bowling. Like we were actually having a really fun time, and it was just like. You know, even if we don't really want to eat, it'd be nice to just grab a couple drinks and come to Downtown Disney, uh, like, and just relax for a little bit and bowl, you know? Like, get a little air conditioning if it's in the middle of the summer, maybe. Like, um, we, we were able to walk in pretty easily and just get a lane immediately, so. Yeah. I think right now there's a little line, but it is a holiday weekend, so yeah, they're yeah. kind of a little busy, I'm sure, during the summer. At 5.30, it's, it's getting busy. Yeah. We, we were there for two hours, like, like we said, so. We had too much fun. <laughs> we were having fun, yeah. But um, overall, I would highly recommend Splitsville if you're okay with spending a little bit of extra money. Like Katrina was saying earlier, the service was fantastic. Um, everybody was on top of everything. They kept on coming by and it was like, almost like, all right guys, we're okay, we're okay. Which is, which I like. I would rather have it be like, guys, we're okay. It's okay, really, than have it be like, where is everybody? Where is the server? You know, so that's true. Yeah, I'm really glad. So yeah. I can't wait for the new additions to happen um, around downtown Disney. This is a great new addition. Um, so yeah, let us know if you have been to Splitsville here in downtown Disney in Anaheim, uh, and let us know how you think about um, what you, how your food was or how your experience was. Yeah, or even if you want to compare it to the Orlando version. I mean, talk about that. I'd like to. I'd like to uh, hear from some of you Orlando folk out there. So there's definitely different changes in the menu. Yeah, so they had a cal they had a calamari out there. I remember that they don't have here, so I'm kind of sad about that. But anyway, that's besides the point. We're All getting right. too far into it. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you so much, everybody, Thanks, for guys. listening. Have a good day. Bye.